Okay, great. Beautiful. Let's get started. A lot of news today talking about the recession with the war going between Russia and Ukraine and, you know, China, uh, U.S. conflict. A lot of things happening. U.S. Fed increasing the interest rate, rupee plummeting against the dollar. What's going to happen in terms of recession? Is it a good time to study or not? So we'll try to address all these points. Okay. And then we'll open it up to Q&A. Right. Just as a background, in case you are not aware, College Pond has been helping students get into the top universities in the world across different domains, engineering, architecture, finance, marketing, new physiotherapy, etc. Uh, just a background about us. Uh, moving on back to the agenda. How long does a recession usually last? Right. So this is the data of the last maybe 80 years. And if you see, obviously, we do not have the COVID-19 part incorporated in that. Okay, maybe I would say the COVID-19 maybe lasted from March 2020 to say March 2021, maybe. Okay, maybe another one year, right? After March 21, everything was normal. The number of people who went abroad in 21 was again very high and all. So things were normal after the, you know, the first, maybe after the second lockdown in January 21, I think things were back to normal, right? So even I would say that recession also maybe lasted for maybe one year. Okay. Again, it was a definition of recession was different people in the pharma industry were making a lot of money. Stock market people made a lot of money. IT engineers made a lot of money because everything was going online, right? So again, when a recession is a very subjective term, there were some industries that were making a lot of money travel industry, airline industry was definitely in recession, right? So this gives you an idea that no recession in the last 100 years has lasted for more than one year. Okay. Even if you consider, let's say that we will go in recession maybe in the next few months. What does that mean? There's a very high chance that we will come out of recession by 23 end or start of 24 or mid 24, which is not bad because you will be graduating when the world is coming out of recession. That's a good thing, right? So again, we talk of epidemics. We had done this during COVID time also, where we, we analyzed that after a dip, okay, we are looking at the job market now. How's the job situation? After every dip, there is a sudden spike. Right after the Spanish flu, you call the H2N2 virus, the SARS virus, right? After every dip, there is a spike. So the jobs go down and then suddenly the job market shoots up, right? So this means that if let's say if you go in a recession, when the world comes out of recession, there will definitely be a lot of jobs, right? So let's say today Google is not recruiting anyone, for example, for the next one year or it's laying off people. Now, if Google as a the company will not survive if it is not recruiting people. That's right? it's common sense, right? If a company does not recruit anyone for the next one year, the company is definitely not growing, right? So then we have a problem, right? I mean, I don't think Google will not grow for two, three years. Google is just as an example of a top company, right? So the way I look at it, definitely if there is a recession and there's a dip in jobs, when the world comes out, that's the best time to graduate. Okay. Let's look at some facts now. We put in some data points, looking mostly data points we got were from USA. Maybe I'll quickly give you a minute to go through this. Right. So the number of jobs that happened after a recession was much more than the number of jobs that were lost. We're just putting some data points, right? So you can understand and having a master's degree will definitely give you an edge. A lot of people who lose jobs 
actually want to do a master's degree during recession because in recession if there are no jobs available you know i would rather study in this time if there are no jobs i would rather utilize my time to study so that when i come out there are a lot of jobs it's it's called timing the recession okay how will it actually affect people who want to go abroad so one studies can and will become expensive because inr may go down against usd this is from a us point of view if i look at australian dollar australia went from 55 to 51.5 so if you are targeting australia it's actually become cheaper euro might have become cheaper because euro went down against the dollar so dollar has gone up but other currencies are going down so if you are targeting usa yes the cost of education has gone up okay maybe i would put it that by at least 10% your cost of education has gone up because rupee is depreciated by 10% against the dollar okay it's unfortunate so people who went 2 years ago and are now making money in dollars are actually happy hey when i went i went at 70 i took a loan at 70 now i am repaying the loan at 85 so they are actually happy right so if you go at 83 and when you graduate with rupees 90 you are actually happy that yes you paid more but when you are repaying your loans and everything you are repaying at a 7 83 to 90 so it's automatically a 10% benefit to you again the long term goals will definitely not be affected now what i will talk of the covid effect also to give you an analogy of how the what happened during the covid time in the last 2 3 years as well okay during the covid times getting in 2021 was so easy in 2020 when the world went into recession or you know people said we don't want to go abroad people were afraid and there were people who said you know let me apply in 2021 ek saal mein to things will become normal again 2021 getting into top schools was very easy as compared to 2022 because when you were applying in 2020 people were scared hey i don't want to to go i don't know what's going to happen i'm not going to apply i'll wait and watch right now people in 21 said hey things have become normal let's apply in 21 2022 had four times more applicants than 2021 right so what happened 22 was very competitive to get into right so you know it's it's like the stock market right hey the stock markets are down i don't think i should be investing but that's when the best time to invest right i mean because then the stock markets are definitely gonna go up so if you are an investor in stock market you can understand obviously you cannot predict there is a possibility recession can go for 10 years also don't get me wrong and even if we still don't know whether which all countries will go in recession again is a question mark it's a very relative term because and again which industries will go in recession again is a question mark like i said in covid 19 pharma industry it industry people were making money okay so again recession is very country specific or maybe or not country specific i would say more of domain specific okay student exchange program might emerge a lot of universities have said you know you could do the one two years in india then do the third year over there so a lot of those programs will come into effect for a bachelor's level hey you know i don't want to go abroad like in covid people said i don't want to study abroad now you see people who wanted to do a masters degree could afford hey i will take a break work for one two years and then go abroad or i am completely fine with it but people who had completed their 12th grade and wanted to start their bachelor's degree they cannot afford hey i'll wait for one two years and then start my master's degree and they did not want to study online so most of them ended up studying in india or changed their country going to countries which allowed you to study offline okay so yes there will be impacts here and there and you need to navigate your way through things right now similarly like i said you know people who went in 2020 and 2021 right what we also saw right when we spoke with people who went in 2019 we actually emailed all our students who went in 2019 and who were graduating in 2020 and 2021 hey guys were you affected because of covid any help you need from us anything we can do to help you in connecting you with you ex students connecting you to our recruiters we thought let's reach out to them in case they need help 
few of them wanted help they lost jobs we worked with them okay i will tell you it was definitely not a rosy picture but by 2021 90% of college pond students said that they have we have a job okay 2020 was a bad year but by 2021 graduates 293% had a job in fact i had a student who went to nyu another student who went to northeastern and another student who i think i forgot went to some college in california a uh, one guy went to chicago university of illinois chicago they were telling me that because of pandemic people were scared to go so instead of having 200 people there are only 40 50 people out there they were able to get on campus jobs easily they were able to you know get accommodation easily they were able to get rata easily work with professors and get scholarships easily because the competition was less and when the world came out of covid 19 and they were applying for jobs they like you know because of less competition we were getting jobs easily right so so there are a lot of advantages of planning hey you are taking a calculated risk i am going going in covid time because when i graduate in 2 years covid will not be there right so you are kind of taking a calculated risk you are timing the recession you know we had done And the same thing during COVID times, you know, we're talking of people and telling them, please go because when you graduate, the world will be a better place. If it is not a better place, पूरे दुनिया के साथ हम भी डूब जाएंगे, चलेगा, right? I mean, if the world is in recession for four years, everything is going to go bonkers, right? But obviously, we need to take a calculated risk. Few important benefits of having a master's degree, okay? low opportunity cost like i said it's not that there are going to be amazing jobs right now right if there's a recession the jobs will be less you're not going to make a lot of money you rather utilize that time to study okay have a strong career network Cool. I'll just skip through the slide. Best recession-proof master's degrees. You know, we did some data or research online. So, if you are going in these domains, there is a very high chance that you know you will not be affected that much. But obviously, medicine doctors will definitely not be affected. keep in mind whenever there is a recession right people might not spend money right but basic necessities you know yeah hey i might not go for a movie or instead of buying a bmw i might buy an innova if there is a financial crunch right but if i need a car i need a car right so the luxurious items or the uber items and the uber industry something that will go for a toss the basic necessities will definitely you know continue growing right is as simple as that okay so this obviously there will be more fields we just did some research and this is what we gathered so you get an idea of what's going to happen cool let's quickly talk of the application process in fact you think hey you know what i am convinced now i should go next next year and in case you not started the process the different facets to it one is the exams that you need to give your gre gmat toefl ielts if you have not given it you are a bit late for fall 23 unless you are doing other things in parallel work on planning your career your profile building <clears throat> choosing the right colleges countries colleges courses working on your documentation application forms applying applying for scholarships scholarship essays scholarship interviews university uh interviews once your applications are done we move on to the visa process documentation financial planning bank statements affidavits etc then we move on to pre departure where we talk about how to be successful abroad how to apply for jobs how to apply for scholarships 
how to get your driving license how to file your taxes abroad how to visit doctors abroad so we'll prepare you for your journey abroad and the last step is post landing once you are abroad we will work with you till you get a job abroad so if you think there is a recession there we will work with you in circulating your resumes mock interviews resume critics will work with you till you get a job abroad so college point will work with you end to end this is about college point in case you need to you know a lot of testimonials are out there you can find more on the website on the converge app you will find a lot of events happening there is an australia day happening tomorrow ireland day happening day after tomorrow so you can you know start applying and connect to universities and apply in case you are targeting these countries please attend these application days to fast track your application process a toefl class happening this weekend as well more events keep on happening you can download the converge app and get all the data from there the link to the converge app is put on the chat box in case you need to talk to us we are uh, walk into our offices or set up an online meeting with us you are more than welcome to you know just fill out the form and we'll take it from there i am done with the talking part uh, let's open it up to q and a you can post in your questions and i will be more than happy to answer them okay i hope i gave you a quick generic overview in case you need to leave okay thank you again for your time you know it's it's late night uh, uh but appreciate you being there and i hope i was able to you know resolve some of your questions and doubts and concerns about the recession a question has come in what about vlsi what about industrial engineering it could be what about biomedical engineering what about masters in finance etc right let me put it this way if you are going to a top school hey if you are studying in india and you are going to an iit you are going to an iim i'm sure you will not be affected by recession as much as you are going to a tier 3 university so if you are going to a tier 1 school i'm sure the opportunities will be there i don't think it will be a problem okay similarly people have started asking will mechanical have recession etc i don't think so like i said if you are going to a tier 1 school it will not there will be bumps along the way okay like you talk about mechanical engineering in india you talk of vlsi in india you are not in a top school even without recession the jobs are not there let's put it that way right i mean you want a mechanical job you want a cfd job control job aeronautical job you really need to be in a cream school to get a job right so and the same logic will apply you know when you go abroad you go to a cream school the opportunities will be there is the recession going to be a problem for 2024 passing out students i don't think so i think 24 23 and 24 would be actually a good time 24 would be a good time to graduate because you would be timing the recession the world is coming out when they start recruiting you want to be there graduating what about robotics like i said a lot of people have started asking me questions what about vlsi what about semiconductor my answer will remain the same go to a top school perform well opportunities will be there there will be hiccups along the way again keep in mind some things you cannot predict maybe there is a usa china war in 2024 i don't know right i mean uh, maybe russia will throw a nuclear bomb on china i don't know we cannot not bank on these black swan events okay russia on uh, i meant uh, uh, not china sorry uh i forgot why is russia war yeah sorry ukraine sorry for that right what about courses like ms analytics guys my answer is going to remain the same go to a top school opportunities will be there okay uh we have an admit from spring 23 would you recommend deferring for fall 23 see the question is what are you going to do for the next 8 9 months if you have a strong job in hand maybe you can if not it's completely fine to go in spring 23 because you will graduate in 24 and which is according to me a good time to graduate will recession affect internships i don't think so see if you are going in 23 your internship will happen in 24 i don't think you will be affected that much will the price of all essentials increase in usa as well possibility see the fed is trying uh, increasing the interest rates to decrease the inflation so i think by the time you go next year the price of essential commodities would definitely come down 
ओके हाउ शून शुड बी गिव द जी आर ई माई फर्स्ट मॉक इज थ्री वन फाइव हाउ डू यू गो अबाउट इट Shubhankar, this is something we need to discuss offline. Which year are you targeting? If you are targeting twenty three, which country, which program? Have you started working on other things? There is no right answer. There are colleges which have an October fifteen deadline. There are colleges having a December fifteen deadline. So this is something that we cannot answer on an open forum. We need to talk to you one on one on that. Is a one year masters also not that susceptible to recession? uh again uditanshu i would say if you are going to a top school like a ucd tcd i think the opportunities will be there you are if you are graduating in 24 i i will not be too much worried about recession our current year students facing job shortage due to recession i would connect you with them my students you know you can talk to your student coordinator and connect with my ex students who are studying abroad they'll give you a raw exact picture of what's happening like i said there are people who are getting jobs there are people who are struggling it depends on the college you go to and how well you perform over there how can we tackle the usd price rise invest some money in us banks so meer this is a complicated uh, answer to this you can do currency hedging and all there are different financial instruments you can do that you will need to talk to a financial advisor or a ca for this purpose okay uh, okay would the general us rata be affected in number of positions available no rata opportunities will not be affected that much because professors are not going to stop working they will obviously need someone or the other so i don't think that rata will be affected you know it, see the kind of work you do might change i'll give you a simple example right you need to upgrade your skill set to survive as simple as that i have a friend who has a restaurant he was telling me that when the world moved out of covid he told all his waiters that you know what there are more people who are ordering food now than coming to the restaurant you either start driving a scooter or you might lose your job right so you just need to upscale and change your way because people are not going to stop eating outside but maybe hey they'll order in food more maybe rather than going there so things change right opportunities will be there you just need to upskill and upgrade your skill set to you know depend on in the in terms of what is in demand right as simple as that competition will increase because there will be layoff and they will be competing for the same jobs Dhruv, I didn't get your point. Competition will increase in what context? Maybe you want to rephrase your question. Um, the competition for fall twenty three has also increased. What I've seen is this, right? Every Tom, Dick, and Harry is nine plus out of ten, and so what is happening is everyone thinks I can apply to the top universities. so the competition is actually going to increase when you are applying to top universities because f because of the inflation of marks right so if you have a good gre score maybe you could differentiate yourself from the herd in that case maybe the competition will not be as great again you apply early many colleges are first in first out many of my students have already started getting admits for fall 23 what would be the impact of taking loans in recession in usd and compared to inr so this is a separate topic we'll have from a loan point of view what is the right loan to take and all or i can connect you with my loan team they will be in a better position to answer this becomes a very long discussion i will not talk about it today maximum how long does the recession stay yogi like i said with you if you spent through the first or the second slide the average has always been 11 months across the last 90 years how will we help you in securing internship we will work with you once you are there in doing a resume critique mock interviews and connecting you to people in the industry uh will the number of students applying for fall 23 reduce due to the predictive recession so manali i would say yes people who are scared would say hey, you know i think there's a recession i think rupees going down i don't want to apply there is a possibility the same thing like i said in covid that happened 
people might be worried and say you know what i would rather not go right now because of recession there is a possibility it will happen okay maybe the percentage terms might be down but numerical terms might not be down how will the it job market be for fall 23 students like i said you are a fall 23 student you will graduate in 24 25 i think there will be enough jobs out there i am a fall 23 student will i get problems for internship like i said in 24 i don't think there will be problems for internships is there heavy competition for fall 23 i don't think that should affect you if i say there is heavy competition will you not apply or will you not apply i think you should still apply let's say okay there is competition big deal i will still put my best foot forward and apply uh keep in mind one thing one advantage you have in 23 is if your gre score is bad then 23 is a good time to apply because in 24 more colleges more and more colleges are going to make gre compulsory in fact 1800 universities in usa are meeting in november i think november 16 or something with ets and gre to discuss whether gre should be important or not if they all decide hey, let's make it compulsory then in 2024 gre will play a very important role can i target a top school with 319 gre yes you can uh, when will the visa assistant webinar be shrinivas connect with the a uh, visa team directly we'll figure out and when i think it will definitely start from october mid onwards uh will considering the rise in usd the cost of living will be higher as compared to previous does the recession have an impact on recession will not have an impact on scholarships per se but yes the cost will definitely go up because of the rise in usd okay cool i think i have covered all the questions that have come in so far i'm sorry if i missed out on any questions feel free to connect with any one of us and we'll be more than happy to address and answer your doubts cool just waiting any more last minute questions coming in before i call it a day i have a gre score which is a bit less can i target a cmu georgia tech if gre is waived off then definitely yes apply without gre that is one advantage of fall 2023 if your cgpa is high and your gre is low fall 23 is a good time to go for it can we apply with duolingo you can apply with duolingo but there will be limited colleges because not all colleges accept duolingo will recession affect the visa approval i don't think so is usd going to go weak as soon as it is going strong i don't think it will go weak immediately maybe it will you see we have gone from from 73 to 83 of usd inr if it goes back i don't think it will go below 80 that's my prediction it will be anywhere between 81 to 85 is my prediction does applying early an advantage in case of csus it depends on programs yes it is some of them do revert back fast <clears throat> does a good gre score balance out not so good gpa not necessarily if you are applying to a gre centric college then yes if you are applying to a cad centric college where gre is not required it will not balance out is the visa process delayed as per the current news the student visas will not be delayed don't worry about it uh i have taken a gre date for 3rd december am i late as if you are maybe you can apply to colleges without gre before your gre date and then after your gre you apply to colleges where gre is required that's how i would tackle you in your case ni sir Okay. Cool. Okay, let's call it a day. Thank you guys for your time. Have a wonderful evening.